Fluoxymesterone, sold under the brand names halitestin and ultandurin among others, is an androgen and anabolic steroid AAS medication which is used in the treatment of low testosterone levels in men, delayed puberty in boys, breast cancer in women, and anemia. It is taken by mouth. Side effects of fluoxymesterone include symptoms of masculinization like acne, increased hair growth, voice changes, and increased sexual desire. It can also cause liver damage and cardiovascular side effects like high blood pressure. The drug is a synthetic androgen and anabolic steroid and hence is an agonist of the androgen receptor, R, the biological target of androgens like testosterone and dihydrotestosterone, DHT. It has strong androgenic effects and moderate anabolic effects, which make it useful for producing masculinization. Fluoxymesterone was first described in 1956 and was introduced for medical use in 1957. In addition to its medical use, fluoxymesterone is used to improve physique and performance. The drug is a controlled substance in many countries and so non medical use is generally illicit. Medical uses Fluoxymesterone is or has been used in the treatment of hypogonadism, delayed puberty, and anemia in males and the treatment of breast cancer in women. It is specifically approved in one or more countries for the treatment of hypogonadism in men, delayed puberty in boys, and breast cancer in women. Current prescribing guidelines in the United States list only the treatment of androgen deficiency in males and breast cancer in females as indications. Non-medical uses Fluoxymesterone is used for physique and performance enhancing purposes by competitive athletes, bodybuilders, and powerlifters. Side effects Side effects that have been associated with fluoxymesterone include acne, edema, seborrhea, seborrheic dermatitis, alopecia, hirsutism, voice deepening, virilization in general, flushing, gynecomastia, breast pain, menstrual disturbances, hypogonadism, testicular atrophy, clitoral enlargement, penile enlargement, priapism, increased aggressiveness, prostate enlargement, cardiovascular toxicity, and hepatotoxicity, among others. Pharmacology Pharmacodynamics As an AAS, fluoxymesterone is an agonist of the androgen receptor, R, similarly to androgens like testosterone and DHT. It is a substrate for 5-alpha reductase like testosterone, and so is potentiated in so-called androgenic. Tissues like the skin, hair follicles, and prostate gland via transformation into 5-alpha dihydrofluoxymesterone. As such, fluoxymesterone has a relatively poor ratio of anabolic to androgenic activity similarly to testosterone and methyltestosterone. However, fluoxymesterone is nonetheless proportionally less androgenic and more anabolic than methyltestosterone and testosterone. Fluoxymesterone has been reported to be non aromatizable due to steric hindrance by its C11 beta hydroxyl group, and hence is not considered to have a propensity for producing estrogenic effects such as gynecomastia or fluid retention. However, paradoxically, a case report of severe fluoxymesterone-induced gynecomastia exists, and gynecomastia associated with fluoxymesterone has also been reported in other publications, although this may not be due to estrogenic activity. Fluoxymesterone is thought to possess little or no progestogenic activity, because of the presence of its 17-alpha methyl group, the metabolism of fluoxymesterone is impeded, resulting in it being orally active, although also hepatotoxic. 11-beta-HSD inhibition Fluoxymesterone has been found to act as a potent inhibitor of 11-beta-hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase type 2 11-beta-HSD2 IC50 equals 60 to 630 nm, with a potency comparable to that of the 11-beta-HSD2 inhibitor glyceretinic acid. This action of fluoxymesterone is unique among AAS and is likely related to its 11-beta-hydroxyl group. 11-beta-HSD2 is responsible for the inactivation of the glucocorticoids cortisol and corticosterone into cortisone and 11-dehydrocorticosterone, respectively. 
Inhibition of 11-beta-HSD2 by fluoxymesterone may result in mineralocorticoid receptor overactivation and associated side effects such as hypertension and fluid retention, and has been hypothesized to be involved in the cardiovascular and other adverse effects of fluoxymesterone. Glucocorticoid activity Unlike other AAS, fluoxymesterone has structural features in common with corticosteroids, including its C9-alpha fluoro and C11-beta hydroxyl groups. In relation to this, it has weak, micromolar, but potentially clinically significant affinity for the glucocorticoid receptor. Pharmacokinetics Fluoxymesterone has approximately 80% oral bioavailability, unlike testosterone, as the C17-alpha-methyl group of fluoxymesterone inhibits first-pass metabolism. It has very low affinity for human serum sex hormone binding globulin SHBG, less than 5% of that of testosterone and less than 1% of that of DHT. The drug is metabolized in the liver, mainly by 6-beta hydroxylation, 5-alpha and 5-beta reduction, 3-alpha and 3-beta keto oxidation, and 11-beta hydroxy oxidation. Its known active metabolites include 5-alpha dihydrofluoxymesterone and 11-oxafluoxymesterone. Fluoxymesterone has an elimination half-life of approximately 9.2 hours, which is long relative to that of testosterone. It is eliminated in the urine, with less than 5% excreted unchanged. Chemistry Fluoxymesterone, also known as 9-alpha-fluoro-11-beta-hydroxy-17-alpha-methyl-testosterone or as 9-alpha-fluoro-17-alpha-methyl-testosterone, 17-beta-dial-3-1, is a synthetic androstane steroid and a 17-alpha-alkylated derivative of testosterone, androst 4 n 17 beta ol 31 it is specifically the derivative of testosterone with a fluorine atom at the C9-alpha position, a hydroxyl group at the C11-beta position, and a methyl group at the C17-alpha position. Synthesis Step 1. The first step in the synthesis of fluoxymesterone is the microbiological oxidation of commercially available androstenedione 1.11 by actinomyces. This introduces a hydroxyl group to the 11-alpha position 1.12, which is then oxidized to a ketone using Jones reagent, yielding the 3,11,17-trichtone, adrenosterone 1.13. Pyrolidin then reacts to form an enamine 1.14 by reaction with the 3-alpha keto group, protecting it from alkylation in a subsequent step. The regioselectivity of pyrolidin for reaction at the 3-alpha position occurs inherently in the structure of adrenosterone, due to the position of the sterically bulky methyl groups. In subsequent steps, alkylation of the 17-keto group, 1.14, using Grignard reagent, addition of hydride at the 11 position, 1.15, and regeneration of the protected 3-keto group yields the starting material, 1.16, for the final steps of the fluoxymesterone synthesis. This involves more standard synthetic transformations. Step 2, the 11-alpha hydroxyl of the starting material, 1.16, is sulfonylated by p-toluene sulfonyl chloride, addition of trimethylamine, base, deprotonates the 11-alpha carbon, yielding an E2, elimination of tosylate, pKa5, to give olefin, 1.17. Stereospecificity of reaction between olefin and hypobromous acid HOBR, in base, N-bromosucinamide, NBS, is determined by the formation of a bromonium intermediate. The electrophilic bromonium cation approaches the ring's less sterically hindered alpha face and is attacked by the pi electron density of the alkene. The hydroxide ion then attacks from above the ring, beta face, at the 11 carbon, resulting in a structure, 1.18, by the stereospecific addition of hydroxyl and bromine across the double bond. Addition of sodium hydroxide results in deprotonation of the 11 alpha hydroxyl, and the subsequent structure undergoes an intramolecular SN2 epoxy ring formation. The epoxy ring of the beta epoxide, 1.19, is protonated to give an oxyronium ion intermediate. In a concerted process, fluoride attacks the ring's alpha face from below, as one of the two oxygen-carbon bonds is broken on the opposite face, hence regenerating the 11-alpha-hydroxyl trans to the fluorine substituent. 
The resulting structure, 1.20, is the androgenic steroid, fluoxymesterone. Detection in body fluids Detection of halotestin and other such illegal anabolic steroids in sports is achieved by GSMS identification of urinary excreted anabolic steroids and their metabolites. In a test for halotestin, a dry residue obtained from a urine sample is dissolved in dimethylformamide in a sulfur trioxide pyridine complex and is heated with 1% potassium carbonate solution. Halotestin and many of its metabolites contain two polar hydroxyl groups, leading to intermolecular hydrogen bonding that increases their boiling point and reduces volatility. In order to attain a gaseous sample for GCMS, the products of hydrolysis are extracted, dissolved in methanol and derivatized to form volatile trimethylsilyl TMS esters by adding N-methyl N-trimethylsilyl trifluoroacetamide MSTFA, and trimethylsililimidazole TMCMI. History Fluoxymesterone was first described in 1956 and was introduced for medical use in the United States in 1957. Over time the use of fluoxymesterone has become increasingly controversial and limited. Society and culture Generic names Fluoxymesterone is the generic name of the drug and it's in, USP, BAN, DCIT, and JAN, while fluoxymesterone is its DCF. Brand names Brand names of fluoxymesterone include Android F, Androxy, Halotestin, Oritestral, and Ultendurin among others. Availability United States Fluoxymesterone is one of the few AAS that remains available for medical use in the United States. The others as of November 2017 are testosterone, testosterone sapionate, testosterone enanthate, testosterone undecanoate, methyl testosterone, nandrolone decanoate, oxandrolone, and oxymethylone. Other countries Availability of fluoxymesterone aside from the United States remains scarce, but it is marketed in some other countries such as Mexico, Moldova, and Taiwan. Legal status Fluoxymesterone, along with other AAS, is a Schedule III controlled substance in the United States under the Controlled Substances Act. References External links